All right, guys, so we are back with another great adventure. We're actually right here around the Kennesaw Mountain, Kennesaw Mountain Battlefield. Uh, if you guys are not familiar, this is one of the battles that Sherman was going through as he was making his way to the city of Atlanta where he eventually bat uh, burned the city of Atlanta. Uh, we are actually at the location of the Battle of Cobb's Farm, uh, which took place on June 22nd, 1864. On June 22nd, 1864, the Confederate General Joseph E. Johnson sent Lieutenant General John Bell Hood's 13,000 troops down Powder Springs Road to stop the Federal Army threat to his flank. When Confederate skirmishers encountered Major General Joseph Hooker's 11,000 man Union Corps here at Cos Farm, Hood ordered his troops to attack. Hooker, having learned of Hood's plan from some captured Confederates, ordered his troops to dig in at 4 p.m. Hood sent two of his three divisions toward the waiting Federals. After several unsuccessful ch charges through the woods, fields, and swamps across the road, the battered Confederate, Confederates withdrew. And right here, you guys, this is kind of gives you guys a little bit of a, bat a battle plan or a map of the attack. Uh, and then you have your couple of generals that are right here. Uh, and then these are the men that was leading each of these battalions, our infantry, our units, our regiments. And then down here you have the Confederates as well. Uh, and then, yeah, right here. So this is your... Brigade commanders, so this would be your brigade brigade commanders that are in charge of the Confederates. This would be your Union. And then right here, if you look, these are the artillery positions. So these are each of the artillery positions for the Union Army. Um, as you can see, there's none of the art, none of the artillery units uh, for the Confederate. They were just more or less coming in here and trying to outflank the Union Army. Uh, so we're going to kind of walk around here uh, and just kind of take a peek of what kind of historical thing took place here. Uh, with that being said, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Talk to you guys again soon. So I'm actually getting ready to walk into the Cobb, uh, Cobb Cemetery, uh, located right outside the cabin of the Cobb Farm, uh, where a battle took place on June 22nd, as Sherman was making his way to Atlanta to eventually burn the city of Atlanta, which was the stronghold uh, or the uh, big part of the Confederate Army, especially with the railroads. Uh, and he knew that once he was able to capture Atlanta, that uh, eventually the Confederate Army would uh, eventually crumble uh, and they would start losing ground and losing control um, of the South in particular. Um, and Sherman's march lasted quite a while. Uh, he started his Atlanta campaign going from Chattanooga uh, into uh, Rocky Face, uh, into um, Resaca, as well as Ringgold. Uh, and then um, just, just kept on going and he kept on moving forward 
Uh, once he was successful in capturing Atlanta and eventually burning it, uh, he continued southward uh, where you have, you know, the Battle of Jonesboro. Um, you have, um, you know, the Battle, well, Battle of Jonesboro uh, and then kept continuing down, marching uh, and eventually made his final, his final march came when he finally reached Savannah, Georgia, uh, where the Confederates eventually s surrendered the city of Savannah, Georgia, uh, and he was able to deliver the message to President Lincoln uh, that he was successful in not only capturing Atlanta, uh, but also capturing the city of Savannah, Georgia as well. Um, at the same time, you have Grant, who was basically the other right-hand man that was leading the, the siege for the Union Army to become successful uh, in ultimately winning the Civil War. Uh, because you have Grant out there in Vicksburg, as well as Shiloh. Um, and also, I will be in Shiloh next week next weekend so that is going to be an awesome trip can't wait um if you guys are ever near shiloh if you guys go to the city of savannah tennessee that is where you can see a monument of general grant's headquarters where he was stationed at that time so that is going to be a very cool trip i can't wait to go out there and be able to see all the great monuments that they have out there the historical markers uh, that's going to be a very fun trip uh, super excited about seeing it uh, but with that being said let's continue on our journey uh, and pay our respects to the, the Cobb family that are buried here uh, but love you guys Alright you guys, so right behind me uh, is the Cobb's Farm House, uh, which was owned uh, by the Cobb family uh, during the time of the Civil War, uh, where they also experienced a battle that took place out here on June 22nd. What? Huh? Sorry about that. Uh, there was a little uh, confusion uh, earlier as I was showing you guys the Cobb uh, farm house that the family of the Cobb lived in during the time of the Civil War. Uh, but something that I would like to talk about as well. Uh, this is actually a portrait of General Hooker who is questioning the Confederate Army. Uh, so. I thought that was actually pretty cool. Um, but with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Love you guys and talk to you guys again soon.